everyone that knows Fatima Johnson, they're gonna tell you some good things. To the man that murdered my mama, I talked to you this morning. I want you to make your statement. I want you to turn yourself in. A 53-year-old mother of six found tied up with tape around her mouth in her South LA home. This is the case of Fatima Johnson. Hey guys, I'm Leah Nicole. If you're new, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. I like really took care of myself today. Got my nails did. We gonna call it the nail cam. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's kind of like a brown and marble going on. I had to feel good today just to even record because if I don't feel good, it's really hard for me to sit in front of the camera and talk about a case if my mood and emotions isn't really feeling good. If you haven't yet, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at I am Leah Nicole. But on a serious note, guys, I started a podcast called Of Course They Matter. And it really centers around all the cases that I talk about on YouTube, but it's really for my podcast lovers. Sometimes we're not able to sit in front of the computer or your phone or the TV and watch a YouTube video. Sometimes you wanna to listen to something on the go when you're going to work, when you're coming home from work, when you're going grocery shopping. So that is why I created, of course, They Matter, that center around our African, African American cases and minorities that are overlooked in our justice system. Y'all already know the vibes. We're over here trying to bring attention to these cases and expose investigators and people that don't really want to bring these cases to life. The link will also be in the description below and we're on Spotify and Anchor FM. So go ahead and tune in every Monday for a new episode. If you want to support black and brown victims, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because a lot of y'all be watching all the episodes but y'all don't be subscribing and I'm starting to feel some type of way because I'm trying to, you know, start a community over here. I'm trying to be friends. And on the real, there's not that much of us. <laughs> there's not that much of, you know, black girls that's on this platform creating that type of content. So I'm really trying to change the norm that, look, we can be researchers. We're not ghetto. We're not ratchet. We know how to you know, express ourselves and talk fluently. Be journalists too and reporters as well. So that's why it really means a lot to like support black content creators and subscribe to the channel. Fatima Johnson was a 50 year old woman from South LA and a mother of six children. She was a caregiver working in a retirement home and was working on becoming a licensed vacational nurse. She was known to her children and the community as, you know, the hood mother to everyone. Like she really had a caretaker spirit and that really just poured onto everyone into the community and they really looked at her as a mother figure. She always helped those in need in the community and her niece actually made a joke to her like look Fatima you always working auntie like can you just chill and Fatima told her like look it's not even work for me like I enjoy what I do so that speaks a lot of volumes about who Fatima was and her character she really had a love and care for people but unfortunately Fatima Johnson would never be the great mother or friend everyone needed anymore on Saturday night July 3rd 2021 Fatima was discovered by her daughters in her home dead. Fatima Johnson was found wrapped in a sheet, beaten, tied up with wires around her hands and duct tape around her mouth. She was bound and hogtied. Her daughters immediately cut her loose, but Fatima was unresponsive. At 12 a.m. on July 4th, L.A. Department paramedics pronounced Fatima Jackson gone just a week before her birthday. The coroner's office has not yet determined the case of death, but one of her daughters said she believes that her mother was strangled. 
And after the news broke out about their mother and now they're settling with the fact that their mother is gone, they could not find Fatima's silver Lexus. They couldn't find any of her jewelry or her cell phone. You know, her cell phone was missing. So all of these things they could not find when they actually went to the house. And the question is, who killed Fatima Johnson? They believe her boyfriend is to blame. He was just released from prison six months ago after um, completing a 25 year sentence for murder. We took it upon ourselves to start popping up on my mother and checking in on her to make sure she was all right because we didn't feel comfortable with our relationship. To the man that murdered my mama, I talked to you this morning. I want you to make your statement. I want you to turn yourself in. Investigators say that they're currently looking at the boyfriend, but when they arrived, the boyfriend literally left the scene and they don't really want to pin anything on him because it's still the early stages of the case. But me and any person that has common sense, immediately I'm questioning him. Now, this man was in jail for 25 years for murder. So you're trying to tell me <laughs> She accepted a man that was in jail for 25 years for murder and he comes out and his mental state is still intact. You know, he's not dysfunctional somewhere. You know, to me, I'm gonna feel like this man needs therapy. But as black women, we always feel the need to hold somebody down or to be somebody's savior when actually we need to start really taking care of ourselves and protecting ourselves. Fatima had so much going for herself and I'm just going to be honest. I feel like because she had so much going on for herself, this man didn't even need to be in her circle for him to even be a possible you know, suspect because his background seems very sketchy. Her children were stating, look, I feel like this man is responsible. That means there's some truth to the fact that he might have did this and he was never at this scene and nowhere to be found. Now, my issue with this case, and I'm going to be very, very honest, and I might insult some people, I might not, but I really want to talk just honest especially with black women we really need to start dating up and not down and really start to protect ourselves because let's say that her boyfriend did do this because to me it feels like he did and it feels like he was very responsible for this allegedly just you know i'm just throwing this out there because things aren't you know, there's no hardcore evidence because this case is still, you know, investigating. But I really wanted to just have this conversation with you guys. And y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think. But I just wanted to share my personal opinions about this case because his background seems very sketchy. If her children were stating, look, I feel like this man is responsible. That means there's some truth to the fact that he might have did this. She was on her way to actually being a nurse. She was already secured. She was already, you know, valid in her life. And now you're allowing this man that really don't have anything, that really can't offer you anything into your life that was very dangerous. You are putting yourself in a situation that is scary. So I really want to encourage women to protect yourself at all costs and this case really reminds me of the brianna johnson's case brianna johnson was actually killed by her boyfriend who was an ex-felon and you know she was killed and found in the trunk of her car not his hers and she was you know very educated independent had her own bag had you know her own things and you bring this type of man into your life, you have to understand that there has to be some, just some mental disconnect. And I feel like with us black women, we feel like we always have to save someone and we always feel like, nah, nothing, nothing crazy can happen to me. This person would never do that to me. But you have to look at the background. Like you have to really look at people's background and you can't ignore things like that, especially our black women. We're always trying to protect somebody and 
always trying to fix somebody especially men but we we can't do that anymore and i'm not saying that what happened to fatima is a good thing of course not is a horrible thing horrible thing and she did not deserve that she didn't deserve to be killed that way she didn't deserve to be gone you know and leave her children behind her family behind of course not but i also want to be a realist and honest and i want to bring attention to black women especially our young black women that look don't accept mediocre don't accept people that have a a very troubling past because you're gonna have to maybe pay for that and deal with that and it's not gonna always end up with y'all just going to therapy and dealing with it it can end up with your life gone as women we have to be careful about the men we choose to be around in our life around our children and around our loved ones because we deserve better you deserve better so when i saw this case it's like i felt hurt and i also felt like dang like if this man really did this the door was open for him to do it and we really have to just be mindful of that and take care of ourselves but you know y'all always know i always end my videos with a prayer for the victims before i go into the prayer go ahead and like comment and subscribe so y'all don't miss the next video go ahead and follow me on instagram at i am leah nicole for some more case recommendations so just be honest in the comments below about how you feel about today's case i know today's case was like short but i really wanted this to just be like a quick kind of just discussion topic about this case because this case is still ongoing there's really not much information but i really just wanted to talk about it and see what y'all think because i'm noticing a pattern when it comes to black women dating felons and then losing their life because of it or settling in domestic violence you know settling with men that beat them and and hurt them like it's not okay so I'm going to go ahead and end this video with a prayer. Father God, I pray for Fatima's children. I know that they are hurting. I know that their hearts are just broken. I pray for Fatima's family, her extended family. I pray for peace and just clarity. I pray that police officers really investigate this case and really find the person that th that did this to Fatima because she didn't deserve this at all and I just pray for protection over our black women in this world I pray for clarity I pray for discernment Father Lord God in Jesus name I pray amen thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next video